Kohler is the leader in industrial lighting technology. Made in the USA, our cap lamps, batteries, and chargers deliver high performance and reliability. Proper setup and maintenance of our 10 and 30 station cap lamp chargers is fast and easy. They're designed to charge Kohler's new LI-16 batteries. LI-16 is our newest product. With technological advances that exceed the lead-acid battery, the LI-16 battery requires our charging stations operate to their maximum potential. It is extremely important that the charging station is wired properly. Improper wiring, loose contacts, or worn parts will affect the battery's life and performance. A quick reference poster is included with each new charger. The included poster supplements this video to ensure that you receive the maximum performance and satisfaction you have come to know and expect from Kohler lighting products. Kohler chargers are available for 120 volts AC, 208 volts AC, and 240 volts AC. However, most applications are for 208 volts AC and 240 volts AC. Verify the input voltage supplied to the charger unit. To do this, you must first locate the input voltage connection under the top panel on the left. Measure the voltage across the two wires which are connected to the charger with wire nuts. Be cautious, both wires may be hot. Your reading should measure about 208 volts AC or 240 volts AC depending on your supply voltage. Measurements taken from each wire to neutral or chassis ground will give you an inaccurate reading. Be certain you are measuring correctly. Once the proper input voltage is determined, now check the wiring for each transformer. The first step in checking the wiring of each transformer is to disconnect power from the unit. Next, look at the taps on the transformer. If the input voltage is less than 225 volts AC, be certain the wire is connected to the 208 volt AC tap. If the reading is greater than 225 volts AC, connect the wire to the 240 volt AC tap. Then proceed to change the wiring on each transformer so all are wired identically. After verifying the voltage and wiring on the transformers, turn the power back on and recheck the LEDs to ensure the unit is powered up. To confirm the correct voltage is supplied to each station, disconnect the outer two wires on the top of each board. Measure the voltage across the two wires coming from the transformer and make sure it is reading about 13 volts AC. If it is, reconnect the wires, keeping the black wire to the left and the red wire to the right. If, however, the voltage is not about 13 volts AC, the tap settings have not been changed. If the voltage reads 0 volts AC, the transformer will need to be replaced. With the cap lamp removed, Check the voltage across the positive and negative contacts. The reading should be about 3 to 4 volts DC. If you don't get a reading between 3 and 4 volts DC, the printed circuit board will need to be replaced. To replace the circuit board, first disconnect the power supply from the charging station. Remove the screws holding the board in place. Next, remove all three connectors. Be sure to remember their location for replacement. Then, rotate the board into a position where the ground wire can be easily accessed. Remove the wire and attach it to the new board. To complete the installation, reverse the steps used to remove the board. Check the voltage as you did previously. If the charger is not performing correctly, check the cap lamp connection to the charging station. 
Also, confirm that components are not damaged or dirt or residue accumulated in the contacts of either the charger or the cap lamp. Proper maintenance of the charger will extend its life and assure that you have a working unit performing at its best at all times. Periodically check the charger for loose components. Keep the outer surfaces clean and be sure any vent holes are free of debris. Should the LI-16 short circuit, you may reset the unit by merely placing it into the charger. You will see three fast flashes on the red light at the top of the battery. This will reset the battery and the cap lamp should operate as intended. If all else fails, replacing the cap lamp and cord assembly with a new one may solve the problem.